How are you doing? I'm back again. I'm outside. It's early morning, just before nine in the morning, actually. And uh, this is the end fed wire. I just thought I'd show you the uh, final installation. Uh, I've managed to get it uh, how I want it. It's now in an inverted V configuration. So I'm just going to show you the uh, finished project for now. <laughs> we say finished, it's never finished. So that's the uh, Ballon box, which is the 49 to 1 transformer from UK antennas. It's mounted on the aluminium plate with the uh, a wire coming from the top with a, a support to fix it to stop it from straining and then it's directly fed with some coax the connections you can see is the ground which I've fitted which I'll show you the coax will fit in and then there's a uh, counterpoise the counterpoise just runs down the hill it's a steep bit of a hill that is 13 feet long 13 feet and 2 inches and this uh, copper uh, tubing comes down the, the short mast which is the mast is hammered in the ground and then the copper bends down and then it terminates to a bigger piece of copper pipe which is fixed into the ground. The wire itself is now inverted V or more or less. It's a sloping V and uh, as you can see this is the direction. So I've removed it from the tree. It's now free hanging. There's a little induction coil and it goes back to the house at, the, at that end over there. It was in the tree but it's no longer in the tree. So it's supported by a fixture on the building which I'll show you a close up. The wire starts from way down at the bottom by the tree comes all the way up and this is sloping upwards it's about five foot at the bottom and it's about 30 foot at the top as it gets to that point there. You can see the fixing at the base of the uh, that's a F23 monoband two meter antenna right now we're looking at the wire as it continues it's not that as close to the sat antenna as it looks and then it terminates at the end of the telegraph pole looking from this side we'll bring it down this is the uh, a quite a steep angle about 45 degree as it drops down like i said to the telegraph pole So yeah, you can see the takeoff angle. There's the uh, inductance coil in the centre. Just follow the wire down to the box. I've tried various configurations uh, whilst messing around. I've tried the flat top up at 30 feet. I've tried folding it back, which worked pretty good. So I kind of shortened it back amongst itself so it was half the size. But right now we've got the full length laid out and it's more or less inverted V. So how's it working? Well, I, I actually tried uh, adjusting the SWR. Uh, it's about uh, just over two at uh, the top of 75 meters at 3.8 about 2.1 and at uh, 3.5 it's one to one so when you hit about 3.65 it's about 1.2 so I thought I'd adjust that SWR up so what I did is I shortened the length of it I got it down to uh, uh, about 1.2 1.3 on uh, 75 meters but then I noticed the resonance, resonance, resonance part of 40 meters wasn't as good it, it brought it up to two and also 20 meters and a few other bands were a little bit higher I actually want this antenna for 40 meters uh, to see how it performs on that so I decided to re-lengthen it back to its original length so I have to just trim it up for 75 meters with the ATU because it's about uh, SWR of 1.8 to 2 but on the, all the other bands it's 1 to 1 uh, so pretty good so what I've noticed is altering the uh, shortened length of the half wave 80 meter it can affect all the SWR readings across the rest of the bands so it's best to have the full length of this antenna for 80 meters uh, resonant at the lower end of the band and then it becomes resonant across all the rest of the other bands due to the harmonics all right so yeah that's how I did it in the end I decided to take it down from the flat top installation which I had up um, quite high up about 30 feet flat top Seem to work pretty good actually, um, some good signals, I've got that Armenian signal as you saw in that last video. Right now I've gone to the inverted V configuration. So the total length of the antenna is 128 feet. We found it to a resonant lower down without the ATU, uh, 3.5, 3.55, lower end for CW and data modes, perfect. As I get higher up to the 75 meter portion of the band, the SWR goes up to about 2. So I've just used the ATU to drop it down. Uh, perfectly workable across the band without the ATU 
uh, but obviously trim it down and uh, it's one to one perfect so that's the 80 meter side um, differences flat top managed to get across the pond uh, for inverted V this morning signals much better stronger signal coming in from uh, North America uh, about a five by seven on 80 meters this morning uh, could hear a few last night uh, uh, Japan and um, not that strong but could hear them nevertheless so 80 meter noise levels very good uh, very low um, nothing much to be fair a little bit high today to be honest but about an S5 so I ended up with an antenna which was perfect for 80 but a little bit high on the other bands by shortening the length to get it on the 75 meter uh, portion of the band that ain't what I really wanted I did want it to work there perfectly but I want it to work well on 40 so I decided to put it back to its original length it's now 1 to 1 on 40, 20, uh, 17, 15, 12 and 10 and it's about 2 on the top end of 80 metres on 75 metres so that's a compromise I'm having to make so I've just got to tune it slightly but other than that, really good great reception, great reports uh, great signals going out and in on 80 as for 40 metres, well that's phenomenal I'm really impressed with it the noise level is so low uh, compared to the dipole uh, quite bizarre it's up higher it's in that V configuration and it's uh, it's slamming I was straight across into North America last night first call and I've been getting out really well uh, I'm picking up some nice signals right now early morning it's just um, just after 9.30 in the morning quarter to 10 9.45 So the band isn't particularly good yet. A little bit noisy today, so there's some noise about. This has been a lot quieter on uh, the previous day, so for some reason we've got some atmospherics. So yeah, the tests have proved that the NFED is a pretty versatile antenna. I like it uh, in my position at the moment from the configuration of the way I've managed to mount it with a nice tight wire pulled um, taut and fixed without any problems on the wind because there's no trees involved and uh, the configuration is good feeding it as a dipole meant that the wire would hang down a little bit and add a bit of sag it wasn't quite as well installed feeding it as an end fed you're still getting the same wavelength out as the dipole but in a different uh, pattern different configuration so it seems to work okay the uh, center of the energy is more focused towards where the v part is in the center as opposed to coming off of the edges so we'll see how it goes so thanks for keeping up hope you've enjoyed the experiment so far and there'll be plenty more coming your way i'm m0 yks this one's all about the half wave n fed 80 meter antenna system now with a uh, 13 foot 12 uh, 2 inches or possibly just short of 4 meters uh, counterpoise which is a non-resonant element which doesn't radiate is to take away unwanted energy from uh, going up the coaxial outer shield. That's got fitted and uh, we're good to go. Catch up with you soon. No, I've done a lot of talking. I'll be more talking on the air next time you see me. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And do you want to say Gold Bravo 2 Whiskey Whiskey Alpha Worldwide Award 2024? Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Good afternoon, 59. Yeah, good afternoon. You're 59 plus 25. My name's Simon. I'm just up near Bradford. Great signal and thanks for putting on the award. Okay, Simon. Many thanks indeed for the shot. We appreciate it. There's 73, so I'm happy you're here too. Yeah, thank you. 73. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. QRZ, Golf, Bravo 2, Whiskey, Whiskey, Alpha.